Hello friends, so today I wanted to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how you can install Opera Mini on your Linux distribution. Uh, these steps might work for other distributions, but I haven't tried. I've only tried the same steps on Ubuntu, which works fine. So currently I'm using Debian. So what you, the first step you do is uh, you go to your current browser, either if you're using Mozilla Firefox or if you're using Google Chrome. Just open the browser, like uh, for me, I'll open Google Chrome. Then on the search bar here at the top, just type uh, type Opera, install, then add a uh, Linux in front of it for you to get the Linux download. Since uh, Debian is a distribution for Linux, then uh, it will take you to this page, uh, this search results. Then uh, scroll through the search results until you see a link that uh, reads opera.com, www.opera.com. This is the official website for Opera. Then uh, look for the one that uh, has the text download. If you don't see this one, you can just click on this one and then within the website, go to the download section. But for our case, we'll click on the one that has a download text on it. So the one that reads download the Opera browser for computer, phone or tablet. So click on this link. Make sure it points to opera.com. Click on it. Then it will take us to the official Opera browser website. Then from this website, uh, you are operating system will be automatically detected and then uh, the website will suggest for you the correct distribution for you to download for our case we are using a linux uh, linux distribution so it should suggest for us the appropriate download binary which is suggested right here as you can see then click on this button download now when you click on this button it will take you to this new page and then it will start your download quickly so let's wait until the download is completely done. So when the download is done, uh, it will bring up a warning. If you're using Chrome, it will bring up a warning down here. When the download, when the download reaches 100%, you'll see a warning that uh, tells you this file might be harmful to your system. Do you want to keep it or do you want to discard it? So there will be two buttons at the bottom. So make sure you click on keep in order to keep your file. So for our case, I had already downloaded the file earlier. So I'll just cancel the current download. But for your case, just wait until the download is complete. In case you clicked on the download button while you're on this page and then the download did not start automatically, just click on try again and then the download will start again. Uh, for any issues, please uh, feel free to leave comments down below the video. I'll get back to you. So then uh, after, the, after our download is complete and you've clicked on keep, then uh, come on, go to the browser settings. Just click on these three dots at the top right and go to the browser settings. So what we are doing is we are trying to locate where our file was saved. For you to know where your file was saved, you go to the browser settings as I've shown you, then go to the advanced section. Just click on this option right here at the left. Then uh, you will see the downloads menu. Click on it. It will scroll you down to the download section and then uh, look for the location, for the location entry. And then you'll see exactly where the files that you download with Chrome are saved. So for our case, the file that we just saved will be located will be located here at uh, the downloads folder for this user TechMinds. So what you do to locate this file, I'll just open my terminal. I'll just open my file explorer. So open the file explorer on your system. Then when the file explorer opens, make sure you navigate to the downloads location as it, it was shown to us right here. So navigate to the downloads location and then look through your files. Then you will locate the download that we just saved. So to know the file that we just saved, if you have several of them, to know the file that we just saved, uh, toggle this view. Just click on this view to go back to the long list. Then uh, check the download time using this modified modify the option so if you click here it will rearrange the files in a uh, in descending order of time if you click here it will arrange the times in ascending order of time so just uh, when you click like when you click here and it points downwards it shows you the files from the oldest to the newest and if you click modified again it will show you the files arranged from the newest to the oldest so for you to know the file that you just downloaded make sure it's arranged from the newest to the lowest so make sure the current points down upwards then uh, once you are, you've located the file that you just saved, which is this one, you can uh, change the, if, uh, if let's say you have a lot of files that uh, occupy the entire space, make sure you change to grid view so that you have an empty space surrounding the files. 
then look for an empty space like for my case i can right click somewhere here down here or at the top here let's say i have a lot of files filling the whole file 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 uh, space i can click on an empty space right here besides the file so make sure you don't right click on the file when you right click on the file you will see this menu but if you right click on an empty space it will allow you to open this directory in the terminal which is our objective so make sure you click on an empty space like that and then if you click on an empty space you'll see this menu then open in terminal choose this option open in terminal then it will fire up your terminal and uh, automatically it will navigate you to the downloads directory as you can see here then uh, you can list the files that are in the downloads directory so that you confirm if your file the opera downloaded file is within our download so let's list so add l to list with the, the long option so as you can see we have uh, our opera download so initially when you download opera you'll you realize that it is in red color and then you have to add uh, executable rights before you can you can run this this file so what you do is you run sudo then gmod then uh, you add executable rights for the current user. Then you enter the file name. So you you type full stop, then forward slash. Then you type the first few characters, Opera. Then press tab to autocomplete. Just confirm that the name is correctly spelled and it, it points to the correct file. Then uh, press enter. On your system, if you, are prompt, if you are prompted for password, please enter the password for the current user, the, tech, the user that is logged in. So in some systems you'll be asked to enter the password because you're using the sudo command but for my debian version it doesn't ask it doesn't prompt me for the password so if you're prompted for the password enter the password the login password for the current logged in user then once you've added the executable permission the final step is to install this to install this uh this file so what you do is uh, you run this command sudo then dpkg as a single word then option i dash i then uh, you enter the file that you want to install, the executable file that we want to install. So this will be Opera, dash, 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 Opera, Opera, then at the end it has dot Debian, the file that we just manipulated at the top here. So press enter. So you'll wait until the installation is completed. So uh, mine is taking a little bit longer, but uh, in some systems, in some systems it will it will go faster. So it will start unpacking the installation. There we go. And then I uh, give it a little bit wait while it's preparing the files. So once it has, uh, it's, it has uh, extracted the files, it will ask you if you want to add uh, Opera sources to the source list of your system. Uh, if you enable this option, if we, if we click yes, if we enable this option, it means that uh, Whenever we update our system, the, the Debian system will automatically check for any Opera releases. So it will check for any stable Opera releases. Whenever we update our system or whenever the system update will run, it will also check the updates for Opera and then it will automatically install them. So to, to choose uh, an option, whether either it's yes or no, just click on tab to change which option you want to choose. But for our case, I'll click yes so that whenever I update my system, Opera is updated with it. So you press tab to toggle these options. So if I press tab, it goes to no. If I press tab again, it comes to but it comes back to yes. So since I want to choose yes, so that my Opera installation will be will be kept up to date by the Ubuntu system, by the Debian system, I just click, I just press enter after yes is highlighted. And then we'll wait a little bit for it to complete setting it up. So once it's done processing. The file you can comfortably close our terminal and then we can go to our menu to access your menu just press the windows key and then uh, search for opera opera and then open it so this is our newly installed opera version and at the same time we've added it to the system updates so whenever opera releases updates you don't have to update it automatically you will just run the system update and then Opera will be updated for you to the latest version. So thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you again. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, make sure you leave a comment below or a suggestion. Thank you.